Hey everyone, it's Aneta and Mongo here with K-Pop Oracles. We're bringing you another K-Pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about the new upcoming subunit of NCT, NCT Hollywood. Okay, so this is just going to be a little prediction reading. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get started. The first question we will ask is, what will they be like? What will they be like? What will NCT Hollywood be like? Okay, we had the Seven of Swords here. Hmm. Okay, so they may be hard to kind of get to know at first. Like, I feel like they'll maybe wear a mask. Like, maybe just be really cautious about what they tell others or be careful about um, who they let into their lives. So I think they're going to be... Um, I think they're scared of... Like, they may be scared of, like, people judging them so they won't, like, reveal too much about themselves. Or, like, they'll wear a mask. So I feel like people are... Like, they're just afraid of secrets... Uh, or just people going around and to like, you know, telling their business. So they're going to be really careful about what they tell people. They're going to keep a lot of things hidden. Okay, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So, which tells me that this group may be a big, like, may help, like, bring in the dough, okay? So, like, may help the company um, gain more revenue or profit. So, um, so this is great. Maybe, like, just right now, the company is just, like, struggling, okay? But in the reverse, it just tells me, like, okay, like, their presence or just, like, or maybe once they debut, like, like they can expect um, financial stability. So they may help turn things around, okay? <clears throat> we have the death card, okay? So this is an uh, indication of, of a transformation, a major transformation in like just in the K-pop industry. So they have, they have the potential to um, make a huge impact, okay? Maybe change things up in the industry. Yeah, I know death, a lot of people tend to think death is like all bad and stuff, like the ending of things, but it could also mean a transformation. It can be good, it can be bad. Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so this tells me that right now they're just like really, maybe some of them right, like are just like really studying like, the, um, you know, all the veterans in the industry kind of like researching how like how were they able to kind of make it big and so I feel like they're gonna really, like really study other groups maybe be really influenced by other groups okay we have the eight of wands Okay, which tells me that they, um, it could be that they're just, some of them come from different countries. Like, I mean, this is a card that represents traveling. Okay, like business related travel. So they may come from like various places, I, I feel like not just um, the US or Korea. So I feel like they just come, maybe come from like, like a bunch of countries, or I feel like there's a lot, like maybe some of them may be foreigners. Okay, what else? We have Hygia, Hygia, Hygia. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, so there's something about them that will, um, I guess, heal some like some like negative issues or in, like in the company. So, th so I feel like there's, I feel like they'll they'll come in and kind of like turn a negative situation into a positive one. They do some cleansing or detoxing. Yeah, it just seems like right now the like just the company is, yeah, they're just not doing too well. So I feel like they're just them, like um, debuting will will help turn things around. Yeah. 
we have the 12th house 12th house okay so hmm 12th house which speaks of I feel I'm trying to remember what the 12th house means it has to do with karma maybe some secrets coming to light okay so um I feel like this is this is this is a group that's gonna have like maybe like a lot of secrets okay like or just like a lot of things like information being withheld okay so let's see what will the, be their their strengths what will be their strengths Okay, we have the eight of coins. Okay, so there's one of their strengths will be uh, working their butt off, like just putting in a, a lot of effort into their their work, their projects. So I feel like this is this is a group that's gonna be yeah, just working nonstop. Um, like they're not lazy. Like they have they have they'll be like just the type of group that has like full like a lot of ambition, a lot of passion. We have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Huh. Okay. So I feel like they are going to be like really expressive, like really expressive with the, like just the way they dance or just the way they sing. It's going to be like really expressive or just like it invoke like a lot of emotions. So like they're yeah, there's something about them that's gonna like yeah, just their style of dancing or singing it's gonna like really cause some like I don't know some like the the hair on your arm to raise or so goosebumps. Oops. Okay, we have the fool here. Okay. So this is gonna be like really young, fresh energy. I also feel like they are gonna be like really big risk takers. So maybe like they're, um, maybe like out of all this stuff, you know, so they're gonna be more like, um, I guess be more bold, be more open to new, like be really experimental, I feel like try out new things. So um, yeah, so I feel like they'll, they'll, yeah, maybe they'll experiment with a lot of sounds, a lot of looks, so. They're gonna be like a really open-minded group. Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is gonna be a group that's like really close-knit. Uh, I feel like they'll get along with each other very well. And also I feel like they'll, they'll see each other as ha like family. So I think they're gonna be like really happy working together I mean this is a card that represents happiness as well and we have the Queen of Cups here which tells me that they uh, will I feel like they'll support one another or they can also get support from like maybe just like the veterans in the industry what else Okay, we have the carnelian, which is all about creativity, okay? So, yeah, so they have like a lot of amazing, like I feel like they'll be full of like creativity or just have so many, so many like creative talents. So they could be like, like a triple threat or something like, you know, they can sing, dance, maybe act. Maybe, maybe some of them have like, will have like, ex like have experience like modeling or something as well. We have the Moonstone. Hmm. Yeah, so this is a group that will be, um, or I feel like the, yeah, the, so this group is 
gonna, I guess be gonna be full of life, full of passion, full of energy too. Like, will live life, you know, fully, or live their purpose. Okay, so let's see. I guess what what I guess what the rest of the NCT members think of them, or will think of them. What will the rest of NCT think of NCT Hollywood? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is, they're gonna think, okay, this group is, uh, I guess, really a, a, a great business partners, maybe, okay? So, or it's just gonna help like improve the, like the financial situation of the company. This is a card that represents prosperity, new beginnings. So I think they're hopeful that like this this group is gonna like yeah basically help turn things around. Okay, we have the the ten of swords in reverse. Hmm. Okay, so like maybe they're just like af afraid of like right now like they're just afraid of like some sort of ruin or disaster happening in like in, in the in the industry or, or not in the industry sorry in the record company but I feel like um, they like I feel like they'll experience a new beginning they'll be able to find strength and courage Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so that the, the, they're gonna think that this group is just like, um, almost like a like a like a good luck, um, what you call it? Like what? Like I don't know. Like a good luck charm. There you go. So like, like there's something like they'll help, I guess, bring like, help attract luck, help attract success. That's what. So I feel like they're, like the overall thoughts of the, like of this particular subunit is positive so I also feel like they'll maybe they'll, they'll do a lot of like tours together or a lot of traveling because this is a card that represents traveling as well Okay, with a three of pentacles, so yeah, I think they'll work well together. I mean, this is a card of teamwork, so yeah, no bad vibes here. And we have the ten of cups at the bottom of the deck, so they'll they'll be like one big happy family. All right, so I guess what will the general public think of NCT Hollywood? Like, what will happen once they like debut? What will happen once NCT Hollywood debuts? Okay, we have the Seven of Coins or Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so they're gonna be like really busy. Okay, like I feel like they're gonna just do a lot of promotions. I feel like they'll be like in high demand. Like if people are gonna like wanna like want them to perform in their show or wanna like work with them. Okay, we have the judgment here. Okay, so they, I mean, this, the company can expect a sense of renewal. Okay, new beginning, like great things happening, like turning a crappy situation to a positive one. So right now, like just right now, it's like kind of doom and gloom with like in the company, but like them debuting will again like help turn things around. We have the strength here. Hmm. Okay. So I think that the like the public will think that this group is very powerful. Okay. Has like full of charisma. So they're gonna think, okay, this this group is gonna make a huge impact. 
they'll really stand out. We have the six of spears or six of wands, okay. So I think people will think highly of them or just like really admire them. I think uh, this is another card. This, this also represents charisma as well. So again, this, um, they're going to be seen as really charismatic and maybe just win a lot of awards. I mean, this is a card of victory as well. And we have the world here at the bottom of the deck, which is a card that represents success. So this is going to be a really successful subunit. And I think people are going to be really happy or really content. So I feel like they're going to be really anxious to see what they have to offer. So yeah, so that's all I have for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Till next time, thanks for watching.